Welcome to Heritage Trout Mapping, episode two on the real California golden trout. What is the real California golden trout? We're gonna have to stick around to find out. All right, guys, I think this is gonna be a pretty awesome trip. Done a ton of research into it. Um, the uh, main kind of in inspiration for this trip comes from a 1905 uh, publication. Uh, I think it was called The Golden Trout of the Southern High Sierra. Um, and in that um, document, uh, it's kind of like the first time that they uh, went and investigated the, the golden trout and their heritage waters. And so in that document, there's a ton of information Um, in the past, uh, in the past, I've been kind of hesitant about sharing some of the locations and stuff that we've been fishing. But for this episode, I think it's kind of critical to to the story of the golden trout. Um, and so, I, I don't think that I can tell the story without giving away the location. So I'm going to be talking about some of the places that we're stopping and and how it's what the significance of those those specific locations are to the golden trout. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty awesome trip. Um, I will check back in with you guys up at Trail Pass. All right, guys, getting close to Trail Pass. Um, kind of regretting this 50 pound pack I got. Um, but had to make sure I had enough fishing gear and all the camera equipment um, so I could bring you beautiful people along for the trip. So it's a little bit of a sacrifice for you guys. Hope you appreciate it. <laughs> See you at the top of Trail Pass. <sighs> okay guys, here we are at the top of Trail Pass. Wanted to go over uh, the game plan for today. Um, so the idea is to hike down into Tunnel Meadows um, and camp at a junction point between the South Fork of the Kern and Golden Trout Creek. Um, this location will enable us to um, fish both streams um, and kind of compare trout from each. So there's there's some descriptions in that uh, publication I was talking about earlier. Um, discuss, there's some descriptions of each trout and how they differ from, from each stream. So it's gonna be interesting to kind of um, be able to camp in a location where we can fish both streams. Um, so from here at the top of Trail Pass, we're gonna, the next stop will be Mulkey Creek. So my plan is, is to head down into, um, Mulkey Creek, drop the packs for a minute and catch the first golden of the trip, a Mulkey Creek golden. So see you guys at Mulkey Creek. All right guys, here we are at the infamous Mulkey Creek. Um, 
Mulkey Creek was a tributary to the South Fork of the Kern. Um, oh, also excuse kind of the surroundings. I'm I'm st stuffed into a pine tree here because the, the wind is howling through the meadows. So hopefully I'll get some decent audio from this clip. Um, but the reason this creek is kind of of importance to the California golden trout um, is that one of, the, one of the first recorded transplantings um, of golden trout was from Mulkey Creek into Cottonwood Creek. And so then from Cottonwood Creek, they transplanted them into Cottonwood Lakes, all of which were historically fishless. Um, it's kind of funny reading the, the stories of how like fish got into different locations. Um, they're, they're basically all the same, like a miner or a cowboy uh, carries a small number of fish and a small tin. Most of the time, some of them die, you know, one or two don't make the trip and then they transplant them into a previously fishless area. So uh, yeah, if you ever wanted to know how any fish got anywhere in the West, just insert that story and now you know. Um, but anyways, let's get down to business, catch the first uh, Mulkey Creek. Second cast, what do you think guys? Make sure you can see that. Oh wow. Look at that fish, beautiful fish. Moki Meadow Golden, I'll let him go here. Second cast, beautiful fish. That was awesome, guys. All right, let's go catch another one. All right, guys, I'm gonna set up back here, right behind the, this bank here. Drop my line right over the top. Put the good, put the old sneak on them again, and we'll see if we can get a second one or another one. Man, these fish are just eating these grasshoppers alive. What an amazing time to be in here. Oh, he's hung up. Darn it. Got hung up in the reeds a little bit. quite as pretty as the last one.
all right guys um yeah that one wasn't quite as brilliant didn't have quite as brilliant a coloring as the first one did um and from my reading that's kind of kind of what i expect this being a, a tributary to south fork um it looks like there's a lot more color variation in the south fork strain of the golden trouts uh, or of the golden trout and so yeah this is fitting along along with the storyline so far um i think uh i'm gonna wrap it up here and get going a little bit further crazy man never seen natural grasshoppers just flooded in the water like that I've always read about fishing terrestrials and and casting across the creek and then landing it in the grass across the creek and pulling it back back across so um, it looks like something's fallen in the water and you always hear about you know terrestrials being such a big part of, of a trout's diet but yeah that's I've never seen anything like that that's that's awesome uh definitely easy to to match the hatch right all right wave bye to mulkey meadows mulkey creek So I'm walking along, got my head down, um, not really paying attention, and I look up and I suddenly see this. A little cattle garden. Yeah, that would not have been fun to walk square into. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this gate here. So walking down alongside the south fork of the Kern right here, um, there's just pool after pool. And every pool has just one or two little golden swimming in it. It's freaking awesome. Never seen this many golden trout in one, one stream ever insane the numbers I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more footage of the, the stream here see if you can pick out any of the trout
All right, guys, we made it. Yeah. Um, crested the hill up here. Saw the uh, forestry service cabin, and that was pretty much the marker, um, letting us know that we're in the general area. Um, behind the cabin over there, you can see, um, you can see and hear Golden Trout Creek. And then as we were coming in, we pretty much followed the South Fork all the way in. So, gonna walk around a little bit and explore the area and try to find a good place to camp for the night. Um, yeah, so hit the B-roll. Okay guys, um, so I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, that we were searching for the real golden trout um, and that I had been reading a publication um, from 1905 titled uh, The Golden Trout of the Southern High Sierra. And so this document lists three native trout subspecies of golden um, and one native rainbow. Um, the three goldens are the Soda Creek Golden, um, which we now call the Little Kern Golden, and then um, the South Fork Golden, which is now called the California Golden, and then the Golden Trout, or the Golden Trout of Volcano Creek. Um, and that that is also the California Golden. And so it's like they, they've lumped both um, both species from the South Fork and Volcano Creek into one species or one subspecies, which is the California Golden. So before we go any further, um, we need to identify a small discrepancy in stream names. So Golden Trout Creek used to be called Volcano Creek. Um, this causes a lot of confusion when researching the Golden Trout. Uh, because there's also a small creek called Volcanic Creek. That's about four miles from where we're at. And a few years back, there was a lot of um, environmental concern for Volcanic Creek. Um, you can still go on the California Department of Fish and Wildlife's um, website and look at a page dedicated to the drought stress monitoring of Volcanic Creek. And it is listed there as um, hosting the most genetically pure golden trout in that small creek. Um, so in my reading, I'm thinking that that's just a name confusion. So in the 1905 publication, um, it describes Volcano Creek, um, which is now called Golden Trout Creek. But Volcano Creek and Volcanic Creek are very similar names. And so I can I could see there being kind of a confusion there possibly, but I, I, I don't know for sure. Uh, so back to the real California Golden Trout. Um, so the Heritage Trout Challenge defines the California Golden Trout as being endemic to two streams um, on the eastern side of the Kern. Um, Golden Trout Creek and South Fork of the Kern. Um, so they basically lump the two two um, water systems together and call them the Golden California Golden Trout. Um, the 1905 publication, like we talked about, lists these subspecies as separate. Um, and it describes the golden trout of Volcano Creek, now Golden Trout Creek, as the real golden trout. Um, so I have prints of both fish from the publication, and I'm planning on catching goldens from each stream to compare to the prints, as well as the descriptions of each. And I don't know if we're going to find anything. Um, but it's going to be really interesting uh, to find out uh, just because these these two water systems are so close close together at this point. And so it will be really interesting to see um, if there really are any differences between the two. Um, yeah, let's go fishing.
Volcano Creek, Golden Trout Creek. Lost the first one in the tree, darn it. Lost the first one in the tree. Man, I can't believe how big that creek is. It's really pretty. Uh, I did get a small glimpse of them. Super bright, vibrant, vibrant colors. Um, I'm gonna move down here a little ways see if we can catch another one. Yeah, there's the first volcano golden trout. Uh, it's not looking promising. That a lot of spotting there. She smacked that so hard, I thought that was a lot bigger fish. All right, let's get it back in the water. Oh, went right through the net. <laughs> These darn little guys, uh, they won't stop smacking it. It's like they're hitting it before. They're so eager and they're smacking it before I can get one of any substantial size. Not that, not that size is really the um, real concerning characteristic or anything. I'm just gonna cast down here. See. Might catch another one. Oh, got a hit. Alright guys. So kind of a funny thing about fishing these small creeks. Um I first read about it. I think I kind of intuitively understood it before but i first read about it i think it was in ed engel's um small flies one of his books and um he talks about if you're fishing the small creeks if you're not super stealthy coming up to um the edge of them then you can walk up to them and then you'll see runners and there's usually like one to two fish that that run up the center of the stream um and those are the largest fish in that little pocket water um so yeah stealth i i guess moral of the story is uh stealth is the name of the game if you can really get low and sneak up on these things um you'll start catching the the larger trout um you can catch a ton of the small ones but catching the larger size goldens is it's challenging man so anyways gonna keep keep it up good fish good sized fish
All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty fun uh, little series of events there. Um, I lost my camera and I found it because I'm talking to you on it. Um, so before the trip, I invested in two cameras and then this one I've been kind of leaving back behind me um, to get another angle. And then I have my, my head mount or whatever, the one that goes on my hat. And so in this really dense kind of vegetation here, um, and, and I set it up, turned it on and then walked off, crawled down to the edge of the Creek, caught a fish and then, um, just walked off and left it. So this last hour or so has been following along the side of the Creek, looking in little pockets, you know, trying to retrace my steps and, uh, find the darn thing. And luckily I did. So super super grateful that i found it um but uh the sun's getting pretty low on the horizon i think you can see it see it behind me up there and we gotta uh, go back to camp and start making dinner before it gets dark so um yeah i lost about an hour trying to find the darn camera um but we'll make up try to make up for it in the morning Luckily I found it. Gosh, I gotta be grateful, you know? Found the darn thing. It could have been a lot worse. So anyways, time to get some, some dinner going. See you in a bit. <laughs> 